And today I just got my hands on a new Nikon Z9 mirrorless camera that basically started shipping just a few days ago and I was lucky enough to get my hands early on this amazing new camera. So today I want to do a quick unboxing so you can see what comes in the box, see what's new with this new camera so you can have a better sense of what to expect if you already pre-order it. Then I want to do a quick camera size and weight comparison between the other 8K mirrorless cameras on the market, as you probably know are the Canon R5 and the Sony A1, which up to this moment has been a top performer cameras in the market, but now the competition seems to be heating up with the release of the Nikon Z9. Then at the end I'm going to show you the first impression of the Nikon Z9, how it feels when you can hold the camera, and my overall thoughts. If you want me to do a specific camera comparison between the Nikon Z9, Sony A1 and Canon R5, please comment down below so I can start working on those. So let's get on with the unboxing and if you like this type of content about camera filmmaking and tech, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. So here we go. So the Nikon Z9 comes in this beautiful box, inside the box you're going to find your typical manuals, one is in English and the other one is in Spanish, and your one year warranty card. Inside the box you're going to find another compartment, and here you can see the new charger, that actually tells you an approximation on how much percentage the battery has left to charge. And this is something new that you don't get with other Nikon Z cameras, like my Nikon Z7 II, as you can see here. Now you're going to see the Nikon strap, and this one is probably the same one as you get with other Nikon cameras. Then you're going to find that USB-C cable, which can be used with a wall adapter, or you can even use it to charge the camera directly. Here you're going to see the new EL18D battery, which is designed for the Nikon Z9, and it's completely different than the Nikon Z7 II. That battery can charge from zero to full charge in about four hours, and I'll always recommend that you get an extra one, because it can definitely take some time to fully charge this one. Then you're going to find a specific Nikon USB to USB-C cable that can be used to transfer data and the HDMI clamps in case that you're going to be using an external monitor. And finally, the start of the show, the Nikon Z9 in all its glory. As usual, the Nikon Ergonomics is one of the best out there. If you ever used a Nikon Z camera before, you probably know what I'm talking about, but if you haven't, I really think you should give it a try because honestly, it's one of the most comfortable cameras that you can hold in your hands. The button layout is very similar to my Nikon Z7 II, and again, if you use a Nikon Z camera before, you're going to feel right at home. And now I'm going to be showing you a simple size and weight comparison, so you can visually compare the other 8K cameras in the market to help you decide which one might be best for you in terms of size and weight. First, I'm going to compare it to the Sony A1, then to the Canon R5. And lastly, like I said at the beginning, if you have specific camera comparison that you want me to make, please comment down below. So let's check it out. Well guys, that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed the video, click the like button if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe for more camera filmmaking and drone videos. See you in the next one.